guys from our campground here at Yellowstone, Norris Campground. So waking up today, this is where we're at. This is our campground, this is our tent. So we are greeted, we are greeted by a buffalo. Check it out. <laughs> we just have a buffalo here grazing and eating grass. <laughs> These things are so massive. Is he eating bark? Yeah. He's eating bark. Is that what he's eating? Just eating bark. Like, no big thing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow. Now the buffalo is directly in somebody's campsite. And I think he's getting, I don't know what he's doing. At the Norris Basin Geister area. And you can just see all these, they're called fumaroles, steam vents all over the place. Yellowstone is a super volcano, and this is evidence of it. which actually looks like battery acid. <laughs> Apparently uh, it's a certain technology called like thermophiles or something like that. They prosper in like, like really warm temperatures. Now one thing that you won't really get from watching the video is the smell of sulfur. You just kind of get used to it, but anywhere where there's steam vents, geysers, anything coming up, uh, you just smell sulfur all over. And it's not the most pleasant smell. If I was Italian, I'd just be dying to throw some plasma in there, right? Yellowstone has no shortage of buffaloes. Um, I haven't yet to see like grizzly bear really, or a black bear, anything like that. Bears are so elusive, but buffaloes are everywhere. Graceful, roaming around, eating grass. Pretty cool. How close did you get? Pretty close. You can see these trees here. All the bottoms are white. That's because the bark has been scraped off by these buffalo. They like to scrape off the bark and eat and eat it. So you'll just see trees all over Yellowstone, no bark. Because these guys. spring here. This is Yellowstone's biggest spring and probably it's most impressive. It's got a variety of colors. It's got the blue all the way to the warm colors, the oranges and reds. Uh, it's pretty gorgeous and it's massive. parking lot for Grand Prismic Spring and you have to wait for your spot when it's three o'clock. There's cars. All right we got some huckleberry ice cream yesterday and we've just been hooked on it ever since. Dad's so we rocking, got it again. <laughs> Dad's rocking some huckleberry and I'm getting some some mountain berry.
We're sitting here waiting for Old Faithful to blow, <laughs> along with, as you can see, lots of other people. Yeah, apparently they got it down to a science here uh, today, or the one we're going to witness is going to blow at 4.23, give or take 10 minutes, right? We'll see how accurate <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be accurate. Old Faithful, it's fizzling out now. We are here in the Old Faithful Inn, and you have to see with your own eyes. But everything is made out of like a pretty logical fun. This area up here is called the crow's nest. But I guess a recent earthquake kind of shifted some of the wood and it's now unsafe. Uh, but I was going all the way up there. But apparently nobody can now. This is as high as you can get here at Old Faithful Inn. Uh, third level. Here. This would be pretty nice, huh? So what Zach's going to do is he's going to, since I forgot my wallet because I didn't think we'd be doing anything cool, he's going to run and go get my wallet out of the car. <laughs> and then he's going to come back and watch Old Faithful shoot off. Sure, you're what? That's all. about five minutes to spare. Alright, made it in time with my dad's wallet to catch a second eruption of Old Faithful. And we are sitting good. We are sitting comfortable here. We got some hyphen wise in here. Cheers. We got some hyphen wise in beer. And we are chilling at the Old Faithful Inn, which you can just stroll on up here, you don't even have to have a reservation, and hang out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, waiting for Old Faithful to erupt one more time. Because why not? We're in Yellowstone. That's what you do here. Old Faithful is right there. When you're spectating Old Faithful, it can be early by 10 minutes, or late by 10 minutes, or right on time. So right now we are in the early section, waiting for 5.50. And it happens and it's like really quick. It starts to blow and then it, it's guys. But it goes for like a minute, so it's like, not like you're gonna miss it. Uh, but we are in the ready position here, just uh, waiting to see it from a different perspective. Yeah, there, there, go, there it goes. It's, it's got to be close. Uh, it's, it's 602. People. It was yes. supposed to erupt at 550. And it's Plus like, or minus 10 minutes. It's so like now, 20 minutes late. Now it is late. It's, no, late. it's not going to happen. So we're cool. videoing old faithful being not faithful. Yeah, but Get this lady in here. Go ahead. <laughs> there it is. Hey. <laughs> here we go. Oh. 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 That is awesome. It's worth the wait. It's finally a good night where it's actually warm. You can see the stars. And we have our first campfire going here. First campfire. It's been a good day three. Cheers. Cheers. Catch y'all tomorrow. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, this is the start of day four of Yellowstone trip, which is now turning into a Teton trip as well. Grand Teton National Park, right behind me. Out here at Grand Teton National Park, and these mountain ranges are just gorgeous. The whole drive so far. I don't know if this is going to be a vlog, because there's not a lot to say, it's just a fantastic view. But uh, yeah, check it out. Yeah. <laughs> 